Hi, my name is Gracie. Hi, my name is Wenxian. All right. Today, the topic that we will discuss is the illustrated true effect on social media. So Wenxian, have you heard about illustrated true effect before? Like, what do you know about it based on your understanding? Mm, yes, uh, I heard uh, this illustrated true effect before. So like, um, based on my uh, understanding, like what I understand about this effect is like, uh, we will believe in something even though it's false or untrue when the things are being repeat and repeat, repeat and repeat again. And we will tend to just believe it because of people keep saying it and it keeps appearing in front of us. So um, I think this is very common nowadays. Like it happens most of the, of the time and it leads to an issue where uh, many false information occurs uh, in this society nowadays. Exactly. I think the same with you, like, you know, it's very hard for me to tell which news is, is right. So look at now, uh, technology is everywhere. We have social media, we have Facebook, we have Google, we have Instagram. Then how do you know the information that you get from social media is correct, right? Yeah, um, actually, uh, I didn't even go search about the news that I see or I get from the social media, like, uh, whether they are credible or not, or whether they are true or, or not. Like when whenever I get the news that I see, I will tend to just believe it and I will just uh share it to my friends. So I think it's um, everyone is like me. I think no one will go search when they see like or oh, when they see this, then they go search whether this is credible or not. I think no one will do this lah. I, I, I think I uh, so you do you go search before? No, definitely no. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot think who will go search actually. So like every time I see the news, right, I will just like, oh, this is the news, then I will just believe it and I just share it to my friends. Like and and also family. Yeah. Like every time I, I share something to you, I didn't even go search like, oh, whether this is correct or not, like it's credible or not, then I will just share it to you. So now I think back maybe there are some fake news <laughs> I share to you, but we, we also don't know about it. <laughs> like not only in our generations, like the older generations, uh, I started to use uh, social media also, like my father's the 60s. Last time, they show us the, the news is through newspaper. Through newspaper. Ah, and now, they just share the post from Facebook, uh, and they say, ah, girl, you see the news, like, oh, what like that. Then, now, I also think, like, the older generation is started to use this uh, social media, and... They're always like sharing the post with each other through social media. We cannot see newspaper anymore. Yeah, that's why, that's why. Because people just believe every information that social media show, right? Just take an example of COVID-19. Everyone's staying at home. Okay, we have social distancing. So social media have become the only way we can get all the information, right? So one of the best examples during this pandemic, you heard a lot of people saying that, oh, taking ginger powder, warm water, and many kinds of formula and medicine can help to prevent viruses. So even, even there is an article saying that, oh, after taking a vaccine, you need to drink coconut water to prevent getting sick. Honestly, I drink. Even though I know that is an impossible, lot, okay? And, but the information that keep showing to me is make me believe it, you know? That's why the more we export to uh, to social media, the more we start to feel like, oh, it's true. The information that I get from social media is true. Yes, yes. Actually, I also drank uh, coconut water when, uh, after my vaccinations. And mm -hmm. I also had a lot of formula or medicines uh, that can cure COVID-19 disease. And some of them, uh, you won't go stock up the medicines. And also, you remember or not, uh, under our first MCO, the MCO 1.0, I don't know who spread the news or, or where the people get the news that they think uh, they cannot get, they totally cannot go out during MCO and they started to get panic and they go to the supermarket to stock up all the foods like canned foods like the sardines, maggies and, and all the daily supplies and there are many items were out of stock at the time, especially the toilet paper. Yeah, the toilet paper. I don't know why. Uh, until now, I also can understand why they want to stock up the toilet paper at that time. So, from here, we can see like, how false information uh, can be spread 
uh, widely in social media, like when people get this and they can just share within one second. And yep. if the false informations are spreading uh, all the way and this can really affect the behavior of a society, like the COVID-19 we said, it's really caused the people to feel panic and they are going to the supermarket to stock up everything that they want because just because of the uh, false information. That's true, that's true. Because we get information, we watch a video uh, and we connect with people just through social media. But actually, uh, do you know that social media have a dark side? Like Facebook, Google, Instagram have the algorithms that are designed like to keep us engaged as much as possible with the platform. So they can keep pushing up apps and keep making more money. So they will try to find out like uh, what kind of information we are likely to click on, pay attention to, and to share with our friends. Okay. But do you realize something? When you search one thing on Google, for example, and then the another social media platform will show you the same thing that you search on Google, right? Yes, yes. I experienced, uh, I experienced this before for many, many times. Like last time, uh, I go Google search for a bottle. I want to buy a Tupperware bottle. Then after I go to Google, I search it and I move to Instagram and all the advertisement come out is all about Tupperware. And I feel like why the why my phone can know what I'm thinking <laughs> and yeah. what, what I'm, I'm searching. And I actually know like they can even track us uh, more well, like our data and our privacy like, based on what we search. And this is also become an issue nowadays, like which can also lead to polarization. Like for example, when we watch or search something, uh, they will provide us recommendations or there are many related videos to pop up for us. Like when you watch YouTube, you are searching this, then there are many related uh, videos to pop up, then yes, you yes. keep seeing the same same topic or same uh, the things that are related are, are coming up for you to watch. And this make us like make us to form our own opinions based on what we see, and we will strongly believe that uh, we are the right one since it only provides us an one side view to us. Like um, violent video games. Um, until now, I strongly believe that it can lead to violence because I've tried to search information about it, and the information that I get is all showing that it can lead to violence. But I don't think so. A uh, video game have any connection with the violence because what I what the information and the article that I search and that I found it showed me that there's no connection between video game and violence. Why video game can lead to violent behavior? Oh really? Yeah. Then I think polarization is is happening in 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 our situation in this situation because when I search about it, uh. I can only see the information showing the bad side instead of the good side because I'm searching uh, the, the disadvantages of violent video games. But so the information coming out is all about the bad side and I can't even see a good side of the violent video games. So the information that pops up and what I search uh, makes me really feel that oh, what I think is correct and I think violence uh, video games is really will lead to violence. Yep, yep. Polarization happens when people not seeing the same information. Like just now you see the uh, the, the good the bad side. Then I see it's the good side of video games, violence, and both both sides insist on their positions. So uh another example is break a uh, life matter. So I'm pretty sure some people will suffer BLM. Some will have different like, point of view toward this issue. Just like you say just now, you search, you show in the bad side of violence. But for me, I get the information about the good side. So this show that social media can make the society have a different view. And this is where polarizations arrive. Yeah. And do you know, do you know that media bias is also one of the issues? Oh, like really? Like actually some of the information, not some, I think most of the information that we get may not reveal all the facts to us. Like maybe now we see what media shows on uh shows the information on news, there are actually many facts that are hiding behind instead of revealing to us. So maybe now we what we see is not actually all the facts and not totally all true. 
and this one uh, has become one of the issues lah, of course, and it really can affect and change the perceptions of us on how we think about something or someone. Um, like we can see it obviously in politics, like normally it's happened on politics lah, like yeah. in some countries, media bias can go so far like to completely reflect the ideas of the governing body. Uh, the best example is the North Korea. Like media bias has uh, essentially become the propaganda in North Korea. Like the North Korean media is strictly controlled by the government. Like everything, like the media, like the, what the information or news they want to portray is all under the government. And this one has caused the uh, bias that like you can see, like the flow of the information like in and out of the country is restricted. And the information is presented in uh, support of the resume. And the Korean Central News Agency like, is the only source of information for all media outlets in the whole North Korea, which is also under state control. Like everything, every media and all the information are all under control of the government. Ooh. So um, I think in the United States also have this media bias, right? When Donald Trump was still the president of the United States. And then uh, most of the TV station just always review the good side of Donald Trump. And it's really hard to uh, find the bad news about Donald Trump. Because uh, I think because all these are because of the media bias and people, people could only see the good side, like what the media uh, portray and this can uh, mislead the people on making these decisions or even on how they think. So uh, the illustrated truth in fact is tricky to avoid. It's led to some issue as we have discussed about we have fake news, we have uh, privacy and data and then we have this media bias. And I think because current the technology is very huge, fake news can speak like ten times, uh, six times faster on social media than the truth. So, uh, cognitive bias can lead to increased the polarizations and more fake news on social media. So, in my opinion, I think uh, to avoid all this issue from happening, social media such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they have to feel filter all the false information to avoid uh, people like us to see the, all the all the fake news you know we always because social media is we use every day every time the information on social media is poked up every day we see just every but, but we didn't know oh is it true or not is it news is credible or not right yeah 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 and i i also believe like social media we we're going to replace the traditional media like newspaper, radio, everything because now every day people are using social media. And I agree with you, like the technology is really brings a uh, huge impact on our society. So I think all the issues that we discussed just now should have like uh, solutions to solve it, to prevent, to reduce uh, all the issues to happen to mislead the, so the society. Like now people cannot even differentiate like which news is credible. We just see, we just listen and to all the information that show us every day. Yep. Like even though some people we know that it's wrong information, but we still tend to believe it. And we just like like just I and I just now I say I just share to my friends. I didn't even think it is correct or it is credible. And I think this is quite a uh, serious issues la and in my opinion, I also think that the government should uh, reinforce and strengthen the laws and regulations on all these issues since I think um, strengthen the laws is one of the best way to control and to help to reduce all these issues from happening. Well, um, I think we have the same thoughts in this topic, right? And is very happy and glad to have this uh, small discussion with you today. Same to me. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.